What's up everybody and welcome to my Madden 16 Justin Tuck career mode and what I plan on doing is playing the final season in his career. I'm going to play it all over again. Hopefully we can bring the Raiders to a championship since he did retire at the end of the year. And what I can also do is if you guys enjoy this series, I can start up a new one for somebody that's like Charles Woodson since he retired this year. Or if Calvin Johnson officially retires, I can do a Calvin Johnson final season redo all over again. So that's what I plan on doing. I'm just going to redo the final season. Here I'm changing the settings to 10 minute. And I'm not too good at defense, so I'm putting it down to all pro. But yeah, so that's what this series is going to be about. We've got game number one in this one. Hoping to make the playoffs at least, as the Raiders did not this year. If we can make the playoffs, that would be a success. But if we could bring Justin Tuck his third Super Bowl ring, that would be huge. And here you see, with milestones, we're not going to get 100 career sacks because he'd need 35 this season. I don't think that's going to happen. But we can definitely get 8 sacks on the year easily and 3 tackles for loss in a game. We can do that for sure. So we're playing Cincinnati. He's got Andy Dalton at QB. We're going to drop back all over the screen pass. We miss him at first, but we get right back on Giovanni Bernard to bring him down for a loss of two. A third and 13 that brings up. Look at the block shed right there. Gets right off him and we'll get to Andy Dalton. Bring him down for the first sack of the season. Gets a nice little celly in there. That's huge forcing Cincinnati to punt. Our offense does nothing with the ball, however. A nice passer on the curl route bringing up third and inches on that play so empty backfield on third and inches luckily it pays off for Cincinnati throwing it to the little hook route Andy Dalton nice accurate pass there we're coming off again he gets away just in time bringing up a third and four we gotta come up or a third and one my bad we gotta come up with a stop here and we're gonna come up the middle he fumbles the ball and we recover it after he picked up the first down offense gotta do something with that and they do putting up seven on the board Khalil Mack coming off the edge for the sack and that's his first one of the season second and four now hand play action pass rolling out little jump throw and that's into triple coverage and intercepted on the play at the 45 by Carrie or Curry I couldn't quite see his name and we're just about to get there as Andy Dalton gets rid of it so close to our second sack of the season going play action again and again we're right there this time he's able to find his receiver for a 20 yard pickup down to our 23. We need to come up big here. Hold him to a field goal. He's coming to the outside. And we're going to grab his ankles for a tackle there. He did pick up five, however, with a third and one coming up. He's going up the middle. Gets hit. He falls down. And he is short. Fourth and inches. So that's a huge stop there. He's got to set. Or since now he's got to settle for three. I'm so used to playing ultimate team. I'm used to saying my opponent or he so that he's saying Cincinnati or whatever that's a nice catch there over the top on third and three a great pass Manny Dalton we're gonna block shed there get almost and it's knocked away by the cornerback Manny Dalton is unable to connect to his receiver we hold him to yet another punt but our offense has only put up seven points and that's a nice little underneath pass to our 33 a huge game there second and seven nice blocking up front and we just get through but again not quite in time half a second behind me holding the three to end the half so that's nice we're going in into half with a one point lead again however our offense does nothing but justin tuck is making up for that with the second sack of the season and second sack of the game right there and they well our, here's the thing our offense turned the ball over inside our 10 yard line so that gave him a first and goal opportunity first run gets stuck second one loses four yards so third and goal from the four i did take a false or a uh, neutral zone infraction and they score a touchdown not how we want this to turn up after getting a big stop but our offense turning the ball over and there's another big tackle by justin tuck for a one yard gain third and 11 gotta come up with another stop we're getting through and hitting him as he throws Offense needs to do something again, but again, they cannot. They actually turn the ball over close to midfield yet again on third and four. Nice knock away there by our cornerback yet again, forcing a punt. We got a field goal this time on offense. That is not bad. Tons of time in the pocket. Aaron, this one deep. It gets knocked away, but there's a flag. We know this is going to be pass interference already. Just got to see. Maybe it's a holding, but it's going to be a big penalty. Pass interference. Yes, that's what it is. It is a 
yard penalty brings them all the way down to our 21. We're going to get through again and take a roughing the passer, but it does not matter as he got all the way down to the three yard line anyway. First and goal, we're coming up the middle. This time it's uh, Lofton yet again. That's his first sack and we're almost there. Goal's got it before the handoff even happened as we came off unblocked when he said they're down to the two. We're going to drop back in coverage and he fumbled the ball, but we cannot recover it yet again. That's a huge play if we can take that back. Instead, they're going to settle for three points going up five. Our offense needs to score and they finally do. Got another touchdown, went for two, did not get it. So we need to hold them to zero points. Two minute warning just happened going underneath to the drag and that's a nine yard pickup. To AJ Green right there, Andy Dalton starting to catch fire in the second half, third and inches, going with the play, I'll oh, play, what am I saying, he handed it off to Giovanni Bernard for the first down, dropping back, throwing it again, nice little pass there to the 20 or 18 yard line, Andy Dalton, we need a stop, they're in field goal range, that's a huge tackle right there, and it's a hold, they already took a false start, and that hold will bring them back 10 yards, so Maybe they're out of field goal range. At the 32, if we can get a tackle for a loss, who knows? They're going with the draw play, and Giovanni Bernard just put them in field goal range. Now with this field goal, the game's all but over because our offense has not been able to do anything so far to this point with so many turnovers incomplete. That's a huge 24-yard pass. They're already in field goal range at the 32. A drop by Holmes there, incomplete. And the next one is a 48-yard field goal, 9 seconds remaining. So it looks like we're going to walk away with the victory here. And then this happens. I speed this up four times because this went on for about a minute. I pause it, unpause it. You see there's zero seconds. So the play already happened, but there's like a glitch of some sorts where you see it's just standing around. The play's already been around, but I can run around everywhere. I have no clue what happened. So we have to exit the game, and that hurts especially after winning week one and I do not want to replay that week all over again so I'm like whatever just gonna sim it we do get the victory at least so that's huge but as you see our stats only two tackles with Justin Tuck and zero sacks so we lost two sacks because of that so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe for more content peace